So this will be a short tutorial on um, electron dot diagrams. We've already talked about this in class, but if you're either struggling with it or you want to use this as sort of a review session, um, this is the video. So we've talked about uh, using how to determine how many valence electrons a element has by using the periodic table. Um, if we take a look at the first column here, all of these elements have one valence electron. Okay. Then all of these elements have two valence electrons. And so um, we continue in that sort of pattern, but do not forget that we need to skip over all of these transition metals. So we want to make sure that we do not include these when we're talking about valence electrons. And so these will have three and four and five, six, seven, and eight. The only exception to those, if you will remember from class, will be helium. Helium, although it's in the eight column, actually has two because it only has two electrons and it fills in that valence electron shell. So that's just the review on valence electrons. Now let's go into actually doing the electron dot diagram. So for instance, let's just take beryllium as our first example. That's here. So in being that it's there, it has two valence electrons. We know it because that's in the second column. So the first step is to write the atomic symbol. And then you want to pretend that there's basically boxes all around it. And in each box fits two dots. But you need to make sure that one every box has one dot before you start pairing them up. So for beryllium it would just simply be one, one and two. But without the boxes it would simply look like this. Now keep in mind if I were to do it like this it would be wrong because I can't have two in the same section until there's one in every single box. So that's beryllium. Let's do another example real quick and let's go to oxygen. Now oxygen is here so it is in the one, two, skip all these, three, four, five, sixth column. So it has six valence electrons. So we know there will be six dots. So atomic symbol, pretend there's boxes, and then start with the dots. So for oxygen, there's one, two, three, four. Now that each box has one, we can start pairing them up. So there's five and six. So without the boxes, it would look like this. Remember that you're not actually drawing those boxes when you do these. Those boxes are just to illustrate a point. Now again, if I were to try and do it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, that would be wrong because there's no dots here. So please keep in mind when you're doing this, um, I will have you do one example. So if you can go ahead and uh, do carbon, which is right here, as an example, Go ahead and press pause and do it on your sheet of paper. And um, after you're done doing the example, then I'll show you the answer. Okay, so to do carbon, you should have had you should have realized that there's one, two, skip these, three, and four valence electrons. So it should have been one, two, three, and four. So hopefully this was uh, helpful. Um, if you need any more help, please feel free to ask me in class. Thank you.